That's right. It's fight night, baby. Pound for pound sports entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Oh, it's finally fight night. That's right. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. It's going down. My prediction, I don't know yet. I still don't know. I keep going back and forth, man. All I know is I'm happy that we, as a boxing community, and let me take that back. I'm, I'm happy that Earl Spence fans and Terrence Bud Crawford fans can finally shut the hell up. Shut up. Tired of y'all crying about, oh, man, I'm the big fish, or, oh, we, you know, Team Bud, and, oh, uh, we, we smoking the Bud, and, uh, uh, we, we, we drowning the fish, and we, it's gonna be a fish fry, it's gonna be, oh, shut up, man, tired of the junk, for years we've had to hear that shit, real talk, for years, oh, man, Bob Aaron won't give him to me, oh, well, ain't no more running, oh, man, I'm just, shut up, bro, it ain't even, like, like I said, half of the time, it's not even the fighters, it's the fan bases, Earl Spence fans, y'all are annoying as hell, we get it from Texas. Cool. He's really from New York. But cool. We get it. You're from Texas. Okay, whatever. Awesome. Great. Whatever. Omaha. Whatever. A bud. But what they call them? Bud buddies? My God. I'm just tired of that, bro. Like, oh, they've been they've been ducking them. They've been running from them. They're scared of Bud. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about none of that. Bottom line is the fight is finally getting done. The, final, the fight is fight night. It's finally about to be over with. Okay? We've been through this before. We've been through this with Pacquiao Mayweather, okay? Wilder Fury, we didn't we didn't get AJ in, in uh we didn't get AJ and Wilder yet. It is what it is. That'll happen whenever it does happen, whatever. But I'm just tired of the talk, bro. I'm over it. As far as a fight breakdown, I don't know. I don't know. Earl Spence has a phenomenal jab, great body work, uh great stamina, gets stronger as the fight, the longer the fight goes on, right? Terrence Crawford, strong fighter. Um, great timing. He can get you up out of there anytime. Basically, I'm just only speaking from welterweight. He's been stopping everybody. Um, he does have mental lapses where he doesn't pay attention to Bo Mac. He kind of does his own thing. He plays around with his food a little bit too much. Meanwhile, Earl Spence, I think, is more disciplined, but he does make mistakes. Um, he, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know how this goes. I think it, it's going to be. I don't know, man. I really don't. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my money down on Earl Spence. Simply because of the fact that the adjustments that he makes, it's really not not even really adjustments. It's just I'm going to continue to do the same thing I've been doing from round one to round 12. That's it. That's it. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing from round one to round 12. At the same time, Earl Spence hasn't fought a mover. At the same time, I don't think Earl Spence has fought anyone as uh, athletic as Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? And at the same time, Terrence Bud Crawford is fighting a bigger man. He, This is going to be the best competition that Terrence Crawford has fought at welterweight or in his entire career. Now, at the same time, Terrence Crawford is a little bit older than Earl Spence. Um, Terrence Crawford does have the longer reach. I think he has a two-inch reach uh, uh, than Earl Spence, but he's fighting the bigger man. And they always say, uh, uh, you know, little man fighting a big man big man usually wins it is what it is i'm excited about this fight i don't know how this is going to go i don't even know what uh what weight earl spence is going to rehydrate to because you know th that's clearly gonna that's what's clearly gonna make you see that he's the bigger man his engine how, we don't know how he feels now at the same time this is gonna be earl spence's second fight with the brand new stripper conditioning coach nutritionist so that's going to be a major factor. Me looking at how Earl Spence looked in the Ugas fight, he looked phenomenal as far as nutrition, stuff like that. Uh, he did have the mouthpiece issues. He said he got that taken care of. So it is what it is. If you take that away, if you just take away the whole mouthpiece situation and then you add in the nutritionist situation, so Earl's going to feel better. He's not going to have that in the back of his mind about the mouthpiece situation. Um, Terrence Bud Crawford. Can if, if Bud could take your power and take your shots with you trying to time them or here and there, then, I mean, it's going to be, I don't know how this is going to go. I see it going at least 10 or 11 rounds, 10 or 11 hard fought rounds, if not a decision. OK, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to a, being a draw. Honestly, we have a second fight. The loser gets to activate the rematch clause if he wants it. You know, the winner decides what weight they're going to fight at from from how both of the guys look. Man, I think they're going to be both going to 54 after this fight. I don't think nobody's going to be like, oh, I want to go back to 47. Because both guys look like they was in a thriller video. <laughs> Them boys look dead, but I ain't going to front.
Well, I'm not gonna say that. them boys look unalive. I'm not gonna lie, cheekbones all face all sucking in, and, and that's it, it, it looks a little bit worse. It looked like like Devin Haney when he fought Cambosis over in Australia the first time. Terrible. Like you can see his, his skull and his forehead and everything. It looked bad. Anyway, I don't know, but you know what? I'm picking Earl Spence by decision. But I wouldn't be surprised if Terrence Crawford won. It's, this is one of those 50-50 fights. I'm not going to lie to you. So it is what it is. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, man. I'm looking forward to a great fight. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. Hit the notification button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button for your boy. It's your host, F. Merritt. Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.